Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, let's talk about the daily briefly. Uh, I'll tell you right now, we're trading about 52 right now, and we're fighting over the weekly pivot at 51.67. Um, you know, it's it's a situation here in the daily. We did a third standard deviation touch on Monday. That was that double bottom at 17.18. The bulls did what they needed to do yesterday. They came down. They tested. Technically, we're still in a band ride. You never really know until the end of the day and see how the bands are going to kind of, you know, sort themselves out. The Bears came down, touched the lower uh, Bollinger Band, 33 half, established daily pivot as support right off of the open. But, I mean, at that point, they never looked back. Um, the big test was going to be weekly pivot, as we discussed, 51.67. They were able to get through that and trade as high as 60 half yesterday. We've seen it back off a little bit here. But it's backed off now to the nine day and the weekly pivot. So as we go, you know, you can see that we've been fighting over it now for about three hours. The task headed into today is pretty simple. The bears want to hold it right here at weekly pivot. And they want to try to extend it back down below and re-engage that lower band at 33. That's a lot of wood to chop on a Wednesday. What's probably more likely is we establish this as support, 50 to 51, and we head up to deal with the daily mid-band because we saw double bottom low on a Monday, higher lows on a Tuesday. We're getting into that part of the week where things are going to start to get directional, and the thing that typically tips direction Thursday, Friday is winning of the battle of the weekly pivot. Lately, we've been doing a lot of weekly pivot work on Mondays, well, now we're going to do it Tuesday into Wednesday. So the battle for Thursday, Friday, in my opinion, is today. So watch this 51-52, most important number on the board. Um, okay, so I just, I, I, I will tell you exactly what I just did. I just paused the video and um, we have been looking for weekly pivot resistance here. And we just went ahead and we abandoned that. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get along. I'm not really interested in being short now until this 51.52 can establish itself as solid resistance and we can get a move lower. Because that move lower is going to give you a lot. You know, you, there's plenty of handles there. Okay. At the same time, if this gets established as support, then you get the here we go again trade. And we're going to head right on up and deal with that 62 daily mid man. So, you know, You've got to respect risk. You don't want to fight price. You don't want to fight this tape. Don't fight the tape. You know, yesterday was a classic example. Yesterday was a situation where in a sell rallies market, you try, you got to try to be short a little bit. You got to give it a shot. Uh, 43 half, we were short. And that's a situation where we got out of it for two and a half. And we ended up flipping long at, at 46. And, you know, it carried us through the rest of the day. It was a fantastic trade. Um, but you need to, you know, you need to try the short side. We're in a lower band ride. You have to respect that. But when the bears start to trip over their shoelaces, you have to adjust your approach and be in tune with what the tape wants to do. And in looking at this hourly chart, look, at the end of the day, this thing wants to go up. And if it wants to go up, then shoot, go with it. If it doesn't want to go up, then this lower high potential right here, this will create another lower high. You'll start to make a lower low, and there'll be opportunities to get short 51.52. The obsession in top ticking highs and bottom ticking lows tends to force people into ideology trades where they have to be right, when in reality, you know, they're better off waiting for a move to confirm itself, either with a higher low or a lower high, and then you can go ahead and get short or get long against what would potentially be the peak or the trough of that move. I'm gonna do a webinar on this pretty soon because I think it's really important. Whether you're a member, you know, we, this is the stuff that we do in the room every day and, you know, people love it. But if you're, if you're out there in, in you know, if you're, if you're out there in cyberspace somewhere, these are things that if you don't understand in your trading, you're gonna, you know, you're, you're gonna be heading southbound on a northbound freeway and you're not really gonna understand why. It's because you're trying to assume that all those cars are gonna flip back in the direction that you're driving in and sometimes they do, but more often than not, you just end up crashing. So, you know, it, the, these, these support and resistance concepts are really helpful. They're helpful primarily from a risk standpoint. They'll save you a lot of money. 
And then, you know, if you learn how to apply it correctly to a trade and you learn how to manage it, then, you know, you're, you're making money while you're saving money. So this, you know, so what did we do there? Look, I gave it three hours. It's now 8.30 in the morning Eastern time. It's been trying to convert weekly pivot since 5.30 in the morning, okay, off of the 56.75 break there. Couldn't do it, okay? So I don't wanna be short anymore. I wanna be long. And if that's not the way to go, price will tell me. I would rather flip around a few times 51.52 and get the direction right for the rest of the day versus you know pick a side and pray. I don't like pick a side and pray. That tends to not pay, all right? So that's a little bit of insight about what you get on the audio in the room, actually, because I'm just honestly, I'm just talking to my people through about what we just did, and they're going to go and listen to this as soon as it uploads, and then we'll take it from there. So if you want to get sick of listening to my voice, come and check us out for a free two-week trial. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you for the midday update. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.